Guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is Jackie M for Masters of Malaysian Cuisine and welcome to everyone. Don't forget, uh, if you haven't already, go and sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today to get access to all our recipes, the ones that we've done in the past and the ones that are coming up at the end of the series, okay? Uh, I want to welcome you, especially Renee Jufri. Renee is a uh, part of our Masters of Malaysian Cuisine team, but this is his first time on because he had a new baby last month when we started our series one. So I'm very, very excited to welcome Renee Jufri. But before uh, I get him to introduce himself, I'll bring in his co-host tonight, and that's Zaleha Open, that Rendang lady from MasterChef UK. Zaleha, okay, so that's Zaleha over there. And also a very special welcome to Brunei's number one food and travel influencer, Tanis Lim. So let me bring Tanis onto the screen. Okay, guys, um, great to have you all. I'm going to let Zaleha and Tanis take over the proceedings while I back out and I will see you all at the top of the hour. Okay, good luck, guys. All right, thank you, Jackie. Hi, Hi how's everyone? <laughs> Good. Hi, Renee. Hi. Hi, Tanis. Hey, Thank you so much for coming uh, in to join us today. How are you, Renee? Good, good, good. Things are going on uh, pretty well yes. here. Uh, you know, that's it's good, uh, in the middle good, of yeah. the afternoon right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's morning here in England, and I think it's about 4 p.m. in Brunei, yeah, Tanis? Yep, about 4 p.m. <laughs> Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Guys, today uh, we have Renee here doing an online cooking and he will be making Ota Ota. But I have, I'm going to introduce you to our special guest today, which is Tani Slim. He Hi. is a very famous blogger in Brunei. He's won four, he's a four times winner of the Brunei Food Logger Challenge and he's a writer and he is also the winner of recent Best Food Guide. Uh, in Brunei, the website by the Gourmand uh, World Cookbook Award 2020. So I'm not going to talk too much about Tanis. I'm going to let Tanis introduce himself to all of us. And hi Tanis, tell us about yourself. Hi everyone, um, I'm a food and travel blogger from Brunei. I mean, um, Zaleha has already introduced the, most of the details. So uh, yes, I, I love to cook and I like to travel around the world and eat. And I'm very excited for today's Main dish, which is the otak otak. Yeah. Yes. And Renee, you going to introduce us the otak otak? Is it going to be the different otak otak from what we are used to in Malaysia, in the east side of Malaysia, or is it going to be your take on it? So basically, I'm going to put a little bit uh, on my touch to it, uh, but I still want to keep it traditional because uh, some ingredients uh, I mm -hmm. can't find here. All right, obviously mm -hmm. I'm uh, halfway out from uh, Malaysia. And uh, also, basically I'm going to do the Ota Ota, it's called Ota Ota Seafood. So you have two seafood ingredients inside, put, put in together. So normally back in Malaysia, if you have Ota Ota, they only use uh, the fish, right? Uh, very seldom you get uh, maybe shrimp or other, other seafoods, where today I have shrimps and uh, fish. So both ingredients are actually locally sourced uh, from the UAE itself. Fabulous. So this shall we difficult. start? Yes. Yes, sir. So, uh, Tan Tanis, Tanis uh, was going to ask something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, is, is it really difficult to get the Malaysian ingredients uh, in, in the UAE, especially the herbs and spices? 
So herb and spices, uh, the beauty thing about Malaysian herb and spices is that you kind of uh, have a mix of uh, spices, right, and herbs. So which is uh, common also to be found in uh, UAE uh, because you have Indian as well here, uh, some Chinese as well, uh, and also Indonesians. You know, there's a lot of uh, expatriates coming in as in into uh, Middle East. So I find most of the ingredients, I say 90% of the ingredients is uh, quite easy to find. Okay, but not all, I mean, the origin is not from Malaysia itself. Sometimes you have to just uh, go to the Indonesian grocery to get on, you know, Indonesian origin or Thai. Thai, they have a lot of uh, similar ingredients that they bring in. Um, on, I mean, dry ingredients, fairly quite easy right now. Maybe I was uh, maybe 10 years back when I first came here. Uh, it's a little bit difficult. All right. Uh, but now 10 years has been, uh, you know, passed. And a lot of uh, people know a lot of Asian ingredients, a lot of Asian food, a lot of Asian restaurants open. Uh, all these flavors are well known here now. So, you know, now it's not that difficult to get the ingredients. That's good to know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, so are there any, are there even, any ingredients that you still have to put in your suitcase to take home once a year? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. You know, <laughs> everyone does that, you know, even uh, I think even Tanis, if you travel, uh, you always pack something up from your hometown and then, you know, you might be scared you won't be having uh, the ingredients abroad. Uh, I do, you know, bring some ingredients, uh, like the special ingredient that uh, Tani is uh, very curious of about is yes, the uh, turmeric leaf, you know. The turmeric mm -hmm. leaf, I always, mm -hmm. when I go back, I always make sure that my mom goes to the market I always say, mom, go to the market, please. Get me a fresh, nice turmeric leaf before I fly home. So yeah. that's what I always do. Um, even the dry chili, sometimes I bring from home, uh, you know, belacan. All right? You that's can't cook Malaysian uh, food you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. with the belacan. Yeah. So um, there, are, there are quite a few ingredients that I always put in my suitcase. You know, you spare one suitcase on the side for the ingredients and then one, a small one just for the, for the clothes. <laughs> All right. Me too. It's so, the same. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Shall we, shall we start? I can't, I can't yeah, wait sure. actually to, yeah. Shall we do it? Certainly. Yeah. No problem. Right? So I'm let's start with the, uh, you, Ota, Ota. Ota. Yeah, please. So Tanis. So today you're gonna learn my way of otak otak, but obviously with the Malaysian flavor. Okay, um, the otak otak is normally found anywhere throughout Malaysia, especially the, the coast part of Malaysia, uh, from the east from, to the south, even in in the central itself. Okay, uh, commonly in Malaysia they use uh, the fish. Okay, uh, they use uh, ikan tenggiri, which I have today. Uh, here in UAE I managed to find, which is uh, the kingfish. They call it here. Or some places they call it Spanish uh, mackerel. All right, so Spanish mackerel, kingfish. The one is uh, the same fish, ikan tegiri. And the other thing is that I use the prawns, okay, for today. Mm -hmm. So my, my otak otak today is a seafood otak otak. So you have prawns, you have fish. Uh, you can always add other additional things. You want to make it more lavish. I know, Tanis, you always make your cooking uh, extra lavish. <laughs> You can always put in, I know down in Brunei, you get a lot of uh, nice, uh, oil, what do you call this, lobster? Right? Lobster or udang gala. Yes, the udang oh, gala. Yeah. So you can, you can always substitute it. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very sweet. So it's good for the dish as well. It, ha mm. it has, uh, you call it, um, not too, too chewy, but a nice bite into your otak otak. All right. So let's go into the ingredients. You ready? All right. So yeah. here. Basically, for the otak otak, you have three major steps that you have to understand and to execute the otak otak, right? So otak otak here, for the main thing is the paste, uh, the spicy paste, where we have all the ingredients, where we have turmeric, you can find here turmeric. Uh, this is the blachan, but I, this blachan is not from Malaysia. I ran out of my stock <laughs> because of the situation I didn't manage to go home. But this is where I found from uh, the Thai grocery that they have. Then you have shallots, uh, you have ginger, dry chili. Make sure that you soak the chili and then you boil them. Then you use them, all right? So you have galangal, 
lemongrass, very aromatic ingredient, is very common in our cooking. Mm. Uh, fresh chili and garlic. All right. So what you need to do is that. that uh, all right. Blend it. Make it into a paste. How you into the 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 oil, all right? Why I put the oil into the paste is that um, uh, water. I think even some of you make the paste, any of your some paste with water. Try to. This is my tips, and maybe some of the great chefs also share the same tips. Even some at home, all right? Even my mom. Uh, they will put 50% water and oil, or fully 100% oil. Why? Mm. So it will prevent the one thing, you know, when you cook sambal or you cook a gravy, it starts to spit. Right? When yes. it starts to bubble, it starts to spit. So it will prevent that because water, you know how water reacts when it's uh, with heat and oil and you have all the ingredients mixed up and then it starts to spit everywhere. You get, you know, burn everywhere. Your whole kitchen mm. is going to be mess. All right, so that's yeah. the best tip. You put your oil in it, you blend it. Yes. Okay, so what I did is that I already cooked them, okay, to cut short time, uh, because to cook the paste, it will take around 20 to 30 minutes. But if you simply, if you have more about it, double or triple, you need a little bit more longer, maybe 35 to 40 minutes, so that the whole paste cook properly. So this yeah. is the example this one of the paste that's already been cooked. All right, you can see. All right. Mm -hmm. Question, question, Rene. Okay, where oil, make sure when you cook it, the oil, uh, the indication of the, yeah. All right. I can't hear you. Okay. Yes, sir. One, one, one question, Rene. Uh, when you are cooking the paste, right, do you cook it on low flame over a long period of time? Yeah. Or you cook it on a higher flame and then you stir very quickly? So, I cook it on a low flame. All right. Uh -huh. uh, why do you have to do it uh, like this? Because some people, they want to rush, right? They will high flame and then they think, okay, they can get the paste uh, faster. Uh, it's not good for the paste. One, why? Because it was burn, uh, and then you will lose yourself in between. If it's a small batch, it's fine, but if it's a bigger batch, you're gonna struggle. It will start to catch its bottom, and you're gonna burn, and you're gonna get all the bitter flavor, and you know you will spoil the whole uh, the whole paste, right? The beauty about Malaysian cooking also, all right, you have to cook it with your heart and passion, mm. so with love. So you have to do it slowly. Okay, you give all your time oh, to it. So it will slow also, slow, huh? yeah, slow and steady. Okay, because these are all ingredients and ingredients have us, uh, have life like us, you know? So you have to treat them as uh, how beautiful they are, right? So yes. every moment counts, every second counts, treat them slowly. So you will get a beautiful color out of it as well because if you start to use high fire too fast, then uneven color, right? You won't get that nice vibrant red color. You can you you're not gonna get all this aroma out nicely, right? right. Thank you, Rene. Okay, well, welcome. So now the paste is ready. That's the step one. The second step, okay. This I'm not gonna go do a shortcut for you. All right, we're gonna show you how to do it because this is ota ota. Okay, so we're gonna blend the ota ota now, which is the seafood ota ota that I'm saying that we use uh, shrimp. Right, mm -hmm. so here we have the shrimps, we have the kingfish or ikan tenggiri in Malaysia, or mm -hmm. so the Spanish mackerel, right, Zaleha? We call it Spanish yep. mackerel down there. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, we call it Spanish mackerel in the UK. The, correct. Yeah, so the other spices that I'm going to put in is the mild spices, okay? You have sugar, salt, white pepper, and tapioca flour. You have your coconut milk and water all right you're going to have every single step and every single ingredient in the uh, recipe the turmeric leaf as well don't forget this will go in later because you have, you want to have that fresh uh, flavor fresh aroma later on 
So what are we going to do now? The page, right? So let's start to blend in. So get all the people in. Rene. Yeah. If you don't have a blender, can you make this dish? If you don't have a blender, okay. You can make this dish, okay. So, for example, for the spice, you can always use the mortar and pestle, right? Yes. Uh, if you have any kind of food processor, it will also work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you have, you know, this uh, meat mincer, the mincer, the meat mincer that you, yeah. So you can also do in that, but it needs to go through a few times because uh, it has to be quite, you know, quite a uh, uh, soft, silky texture to it. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. So with this step, everything goes in, all right? Everything goes in together. Because obviously, it's a question when you have, uh, imagine people back in the old times, they don't have all these gadgets, right? Like us. Some people yes. have even now right. thermal mix, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, so there, there are various ways before, like even before they were grinding it, uh, you know, you, there is a multi pestle, a bigger one before. So what they do is that they ground it. This is how they do it back uh, traditionally also. Like, like they do from mm -hmm. all right? Yeah, that's how they do it. So all the units go in one time. I was reading about the Indonesian style ota ota. You know the color is mm -hmm. white color. Yeah. I like the Malaysian yes. one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And then yeah. Yeah. So, I think the Indonesians one. Um, I think the Indonesians one. They put a uh, black pepper, isn't it? Black and white pepper for the spiciness yeah. instead of the red chilies. Yes, that's why yes, the color right. is yeah. white color. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, so I think the in Penang, Penang, they steam it, right? right. Yes. Uh, you can actually yeah. steam and or mm. uh, bakar, uh, bake yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, so Ota Ota, as uh, you mentioned earlier, in Indonesia, we have different versions. Uh, it's light, right? Uh, even some, some places in uh, Malaysia, you can find even uh, some back in the coast in uh, Trangano of one time. Mm. They, they use less spice, so you get the white, almost like sata and puleko. So they, hold, they also have that version. But the common that we have in Malaysia is always the spice with the, all the aroma, uh, aromatic mm. ingredients. Uh, chili is yeah. always the essence, right, for our yes. cooking, even in down in Borneo. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So what I'm doing now is that I'm learning it, all right? Mm. So even the otak otak as uh, the nyonya style, they steam, mm. right? You, you yes. might find a few steam, grill, bake. Yep. So even the leaves that we use, okay? Mm. Uh, in Malaysia, some places, the common ones that you find on the street, they will use the uh, coconut leaves. Long oh. ones, right? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. quite thick. Uh, it's mm. long, all right? Yep. Mm. Uh, also quite aromatic. Uh, it's also accessible. So those are the ones that you can find or the one with the banana leaves. Yes. So down I'm here. Not with the banana leaves. Yeah. Wow. So the one with the uh, banana leaves, you can either steam or you can also bake or grill. Whereby the mm. coconut leaves, it's a little bit uh, more towards the grill or in the oven. Valeha, yeah. Have you seen the the Thai or the Cambodian versions of Ota Ota? I have seen the Thai version. I have tasted oh. the Thai version, but not the Cambodian one. Is there any different? Quite similar, I think. Uh, both of them are actually even the names are quite similar. One is called Amok, which is Cambodian, and the Thai they yeah. call Thai. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the uh, the Thai one is more spicier, and the the Cambodian one is the more more neutral, like less less spicy lah. Yeah, um, I know that the Thai one they put uh chopped chili padi, chopped bird eye chili, mm -hmm. and um what do you call it, sliced uh lime leaves on top of it before yes. baking it, before wrapping it. And it's quite custardy. All right. Hola, look, look, so look at this. Uh, that's a simple one. Yeah. That's nice. So, so, so you, you blend taste. it. Like Until you got a paste, okay. Right. Must be very smooth, huh? You notice, huh? Yeah. So, you, correct, yes. 
if you don't uh, blend it smooth, uh, you're going to get a few chunks. But I mean, it depends because uh, like the Nyonya style, it's a little bit more chunky. Okay. Yes. Uh, why you want to have the chunky? Because when you steam, you get all the beautiful ingredients uh, still mm-hmm. chunky inside so you can bite into it. You can get all the flavors. Mm. Okay. Yes. So mm. with this one, it's more pasty. It's more soft mm-hmm. uh, because you want to grill it. And then, you know, it's, it's more uh, of the, the whole flavors that you want into it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay. now it's ready. So make sure it's nice, silky, soft. So if and you know people to come on the beach, might put, might put uh, eggs. All right. My recipe doesn't have eggs. Uh, purely uh, the seafood itself. Uh, the binder is only the tapioca. Okay. Uh, the oh, eggs, yeah, because some people tapioca. might be allergic to it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and also the eggs. Uh, you you can actually keep the taste too long if you put the eggs. So uh, with this one, yeah, with this one you can keep them for a while. So yeah. You see that? Okay. Yep. So the tip is tapioca starch instead of eggs. As the okay, binder. so now. Mm. To hold it, isn't it? So uh, mm. you can use tapioca flour. Yeah, tapioca, tapioca starch or uh, corn flour. But corn flour. I noticed that tapioca flour is better. Yeah, tapi- mm. tapioca flour is better because it will give you a nice uh, chew in it. Okay, it will also help uh, the bind better, the texture, the whole texture itself. Yes. Okay, so... Let's start to wrap, all right? This is the third step, okay? Which I've mentioned that you have the paste. Second step to make the otak otak. Let me call otak otak, all right? Mm-hmm. Then, now is the wrapping. So let's get the grill ready right. first before we cook, all right? While making it. You don't want right. to have well, a hot grill. I uh, mean, cold grill, going in. <laughs> yeah. While you're doing that, Renee, I'm going to just read you a few comments from our viewers that is from all around the world. We've got hello from USA, from Shirley says hello to you. I've got Gotts from Germany giving a shout out. It's really hot in Germany, he said. And I've got, um, uh, what do you call it, Sir Welsh from Dubai. Do you know Sir Welsh from Dubai? Yeah, know him well, Robert. He said hello it's, to you. Uh, I've got Ina, Ina yeah. Akimova as well saying hello. Hello, Ina. And I've got Roy uh, from San Francisco, all the way from no. San Francisco, saying hello wow. to you. Hmm. I've got wow. our, our MO team, team in here as well. Nora is here. Uh, Chef Joe is here. Uh, I'm here, obviously, and I've got, um, who else? Hi, got Hi, you. you have viewers from all around the world, Renee. Nice, lovely. That's the beauty of being in Dubai in the middle, right? <laughs> I think so, yes. I've got Michael Bay from Dubai saying hello to Jackie and Renee. Ah, hi. Right, I have here a question so for now, you, Renee. Um, sorry. Yes. H S Lu was asking you, what's the most popular Malaysian food in the UAE? Most popular, you okay? Malaysian food in UAE. Uh, people always crave for nasi lemak. You know, <laughs> everyone knows nasi lemak. <laughs> not only Malaysian. Uh, yeah, always nasi lemak. Uh, rendang. So next time, maybe Zara, if uh, your face can, you know, come over, you know, you can send it over here. Maybe we can start to do a rendang, uh, rendang exhibition or, you know, promote rendang better to the people. Can. You know? Yes, can. Definitely. Yeah. So, so yeah, how popular rendang, is our food? food? Um, nowadays, it's a lot, a lot more popular than uh, I would say 10 years back. But still, 10 years back when I first came in, um... There's a lot of uh, UAE, or we call it Emiratis, okay? Uh, the people in UAE here, they call it yeah. Emiratis. So mm-hmm. I, would, I started in Abu Dhabi. Um, they know about Malaysia, technically. You know, when you arrive in airport, they will ask you, where you're from, Malaysia. Oh, I've been to, you know, I've been to Bukit Bintang, I think I've been to Joman. So, already common or... Uh,
still alive. Oops. Penang, right? So, and Malacca, right? So that's okay, what. Okay, uh, looks like Rene's connection is just a little bit flaky. So we'll wait for him to come back. Um, in the meantime, maybe Zaleha, if you want to read out some more of I'm the uh, losing, comments. Yeah. Connection here. Yeah. Can you hear us? Uh, is your connection okay, Thanis? Mine, mine's fine. Mine's very fine. I, I, I already can yeah. see uh, Rene already. Okay, let me just add him back in. There you go. He's back. Okay. Yeah. Let me just well, add mine, you, you guys, and I'll just add okay. you back. All right. In. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're back. Yeah. How about that? So they tell you to the all right, we're back. Mm. So that's how you do the ota ota. I think so. It's just right, a little bit lagging. So did yeah. I mean say that I've already cut the banana leaf? Mm. It's a uh, fifteen by ten cm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, usually one spoonful of the paste is it? Of the fish paste. So you need two skewers, two bamboo skewers. Okay. So one tablespoon is enough for the portion. Okay, you can always go more. But I prefer one tablespoon, just enough. It doesn't flow out. Uh, cooking time will be just nice. Mm. It's not too thick. Okay. Do you steam it or are you going to? I know so you're you going to grill it, it, but do you steam yeah. it as well, Rene? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can steam it as well, you know, if you want to keep it healthy. Because all the ingredients are healthy, right? Apart from the oil that you mm -hmm. put earlier, but you're going to remove it anyway, right? So mm. you can always steam it, all right, like this, or you can make it into a mold, just line them with the banana leaf, right? And then you're going to uh you can steam them okay okay so those are ready okay so you can start to grill them so make sure my grill is already hot so it has to be a very hot grill huh? yeah so it has to be a good hot grill uh, you can also use a uh, pan, you know, your omelette pan or non-stick pan at home. You can always use that if you don't have a grill. I mean, you don't have to go out if you don't have a grill uh, to, to get it. But always, you know, a good a good uh, investment will bring you along. You can use for other things as well. Um, to have a grill. And also, you can do it, uh, yeah, you can also do it outside on the normal grill, the charcoal grill. Charcoal grill is always good. Uh, they always do that back the home. Barbecue. Traditionally. Yeah. So, barbecue. Yeah, yeah, that's when you, uh, yeah. Yeah, especially during uh, you know a good summer. I mean, summer in Dubai now it's uh, forty-two degrees. So I <laughs> guess uh, local Zaliha is good, and also in uh, in Borneo itself. <laughs> so, it's, it's not too bad here. It's it's twenty. Now you're gonna that, get yeah. now. Oh, caramelize beautifully. Sorry, Zaliha. It's not too hot here, although it's summer, sure. but we don't get good summer this time, this year. But I remember how hot it is in the Middle East oh. because I live in Doha before. Yeah. It's crazy. You can imagine, right? <laughs> so you can see. Yes, yes, yes. Then you can start to smell. The, the banana leaf starts to char, right? Yeah. So normally for this size, how you long can cook you... uh, one side oh. between two to three minutes each side. Okay. Around two to three minutes each side. Yeah. So just tap it. It will take two to three minutes. If you have a bigger size, then you have to go longer, maybe maximum four to five minutes once, not even more. All right. Because of the thickness of the paste that you put in. Okay. Right. So that size, the one that you're making now, two to three minutes on each side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Right. So I've got a lot okay. more people saying hello to you, Chef Rene. So We've got do Chef. A bit more. All right. uh, 
Hey, Chef Bob. <laughs> yep, Chef Bob, say hello. hello. And we've got, um, uh, we got Patricia from Sabah. And we've got some from Zurich as well, Switzerland. Wow. We've got a few from Singapore. And I've got some from Brunei wow. saying hello to you and to Tanis as well. Okay. You, uh, we have lots and lots of followers. Hi. Sorry if I don't mention every one of you because they just keep coming in. I couldn't catch up. Just so many. Well done. <laughs> I like the color yeah. of your uh, Thank you for doing in. Yeah. Seafood yeah. otak otak. If you just if you just join us, yes. Looks and like he's actually colors. grilling the first batch there. It so looks Renee, so delicious. Yeah, it looks like uh like uni. Yes, yes. So that's why also it resembles uh, the name otak otak. All right, like a brain, uh, because of the texture and the color as well. So if you see uni, right, uni reminds you also like a a brain. <laughs> Mm. So that's why the name is Ota Ota. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, yes. question for for home chefs, huh? uh, some of them, if they want to use the yeah. oven, what temperature would you suggest for this Ota Ota if I'm cooking it using the oven? So if you use the oven, all right, the oven, you can use uh, normal temperature baking 180. It's always good, even more, what, slightly between less than 200. Don't go more. Mm because uh, otherwise it will start to burn rather than uh, caramelizing the whole uh, banana leaf. And maybe if the temperature is too high, the paste is going to be undercooked, but your banana leaf is going to be fully cooked, right? Oh, so I 180 see. to 200 maximum, that will be ideal. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit smoky here, uh, all right? Turn it around. <laughs> like when you're in the oven. And can we like have a look? Can, can we just look? have a quick look? Yeah, at the... A closer look? look, yeah. Yeah, yes, please. Yeah, sure. That would be nice. So, there you uh, go, guys. Yeah, Chinese. You. Oh, in, look at that. In yeah. the oven. In the oven, you, you were That's asking uh, if you need to turn it. Uh, you yes. can, but actually the oven, the beauty of oven is that you have both heat up on the top and yep. the bottom. So this will, yep. you know, just uh, make your life easier so you don't have to turn it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What's the yeah. estimated time? So I think it's almost ready. Hundred degree, hundred eighty degree oven. So normally it will take around if you combine the same time, so six to seven minutes. It's almost mm. like the same timing as here, where here you have three minutes and you flip, right? In the yep. oven, you just let it go six to seven minutes. It will be beautifully cooked. Yes. So okay. uh, the second thing, how to check? All right, you can always tap or pat tap. the ota ota. You can see, yeah, it's firm, right? That's why it was flat. It's flat and then oh, you can yes. feel it soft. You, now you notice the size right? increase. Uh. It becomes right. chunkier, isn't it? Yes. So now, there you go. Well, Some, someone useful. asked for the... Okay, I'm going to put more on. Yep, okay, we got uh, a question, Renee. Fire. Okay, now everyone's on air fire, right? <laughs> so, so, uh, air fryer, you can do that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, you can always do it because uh, the thing is, make sure the temperature is right, not too high. Um, the thing in air fryer, you might need to flip it once, okay? So because the bottom uh, might uh, catch faster. All right, you can do it in okay. air fryer, not okay. a problem at all. Because nowadays everyone does uh, everything in air fryer. <laughs> all right, second page goes. Everything is ready now. Okay. We're gonna slice this uh, line for garnish, and also you can always use it to sprinkle on top later on. Squeeze the lid. Uh, Renee. Yeah. I have your mom here. I think it's your mom, Asma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom. Hi, ma. <laughs> yeah, your mom and your How family are, you? are watching you, You're cheering watching. up for you as well. Wow, thank you. Even, you know, even far back home, but always close in heart. That's it. <laughs> of course. Thank you for the support. Yeah, yeah, so, of course. Yes. So we have the auto -auto ready now. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to open it for you. You can see it. Fantastic. All right. You're going to undress you. the auto -auto. That's nice. That looks 
It looks so good. I think I have to try it, right? Oh, try I wish it. I can have it now. When oh, you make, you prepare yeah. home, so you have to try it, right? Yeah. Nice. So let's have it. I have to make it soon. Should be hot. <laughs> wow. So. What's, nice. what's the best? Uh, all right, you get all the flavors. So this uh, normally. Yeah, it's already very nice. All right, you have all the spice in it. It already has a sweetness to it, salty, a little bit of uh, all the savory in it. But mm. the dip that goes very well with it, you can always go. You know, if you want to have more spice into it, you can go with the sambal belacan. Right? Mm. Or you can dip. You do a simple uh, squeeze some lime. So that's why I have some lime here. Squeeze some lime, chop some chili. You can always uh, put a little bit drops of, of uh, soy. Yeah? You can put and dip with it. Chop some lemon in it. Right. You can also do with that. Uh, right. Shortcut way, if you always have a sweet chili sauce, some people fancy sweet, mm -hmm. right? They like more sweet to their taste bud. So sweet chili sauce is always good also. But I always love my otak otak by itself like that. A little squeeze of the lime, then it's just beautiful. Gorgeous. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm hungry. We've got yep. we've got Chef Joe, which is your dad, sure. here Daddy, saying that. After this, um, make sure you try the recipe. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm gonna do do the recipe. <laughs> yes, I might do that as well. It just look too tempting. Mm. It's actually, it's actually quite simple to do. Uh. Not 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 that uh challenging to be fair. Something any it everyone is. can do at home. Very friendly dish. I think Renee is gone. Has gone lagging a little bit as yes. well. Can you hear us, Renee? It is uh, simple, right? Correct. Uh, only the, the preparation, which is yeah, it's also uh, homely. That's why. That's why I. Oh, we dropped Renee. <laughs> uh, but I yeah, think the, the dish is pretty, pretty, pretty uh, good for home chefs, lah. Quite, quite good to do. Yeah, I think it's also just like other Southeast Asian and Malaysian dishes. I think yes. uh, the prepping is a lot, but the mm. cooking is quite. There's a lot of ingredients that sometimes mm. put people off, isn't it? Same like you're making rendang, but as, <laughs> yeah. But then when you start putting it on the pot and cooking it, it's it's really quite easy. Quite that's why I keep trying to, yeah. Mm. I that's why I try uh, always try to tell my uh, those people who come to my cookery lessons. I say is it. Don't be scared when you just look at the list of the ingredients because it's actually quite easy to cook our food. Yes, I think that's what my friend did. I think with uh, all my followers, I actually posted the ingredients. Uh, just now they were like, wow, there's so uh -huh. many ingredients. But if you think about it, you know, most of it is you actually throw it to a blender and then you blend. You know? But exactly. it's the yeah, put in the abundance of ingredients that actually uh, gives the good flavor of the otak otak. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We have got a lot of comments here that saying, um, Suwaji asking me to cook rendang. Yes, I'll cook rendang one day. And Mr. Smith here was saying, Penang Ota Ota is usually steamed. And they put down kind yeah, of, that is correct. That is correct. That's what we but, mentioned just now too, yes. Yeah, but it's so hard to get down kado, down kado, especially if you are living abroad. So yeah. that is that is how, uh, yeah, that's how... Renee has improvised by using uh, down pisang and everything. Mm. And Chef Joe is saying it looks so delicious. I know, Chef Joe. <laughs> it's, wow. It looks so, so good. Chef Joe says you can eat it with uh, bread <laughs> and salsa. <laughs> oh, that's very good. And guacamole. That's not eclectic. Typical Chef right. Joe. That's right. So why not? We introduce our food right. and we get them to try different ways. Isn't it? Oh, Chef Renee is back. Back. Uh, Hi, sorry about the technical. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's another question. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, we're back. Okay, well, uh, oh, really, no. There's uh, another question about the leaves, you know, be besides the banana leaves, just now you mentioned there's coconut leaves, right? What, what other leaves do you think or any other alternative you can yes. use? Do you reckon you can use um, yes, correct. other yeah. alternatives? Besides the other alternative banana. leaf, uh, you can use, you know, this, um, yeah. So, you know, the, the one that you use, um, the wild, wild pepper, okay? Wild pepper leaf. You can use wild pepper. Yes. You can use whatever leaves, you can let them. You can also steam or you can also grill. It's also nice. Uh, they use a lot of pepper for especially the Nyonja version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. But I think banana leaf uh, is quite common to find everywhere. So, but I mean, if you want to, to supplement. Yeah, well, not really. Then I have to cook for you then when I when I go back. <laughs> yes, it's so it's very different. I think otak otak even in Malaysia, if you go up north and east or in um mid mid middle part of Malaysia, they are all very different. And Chef Joe was saying there's another dish in Kuala Terengganu yeah. which is like white otak otak that is called sata that is right. Because uh, sata use uh, coconut and um, black pepper in it, and it's in a cone shape instead of that way. Yes, correct. Yeah. Saleha, do you see the comment by so, God <laughs> about the? No, I've not. I've missed it. So many. What was it? What, what did he say, Tani? <laughs> Do the British like otak otak crispy? <laughs> no, 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 no. The one I serve, the one I serve for my supper club is the authentic otak otak, and they loved it. As long as, long as there is no fishy smell, the Brits are happy. Yes, yes. I'm I'm loving the the I serving mean, suggestions as well. Yeah, in the comments, uh, I think Pearly said sometimes they take the otak otak and they roll it in pastry sheet. Some of them put it in a sandwich, so it's quite a interesting combination yes yes even now uh, nowadays people start to put it in a spring roll you know you can put mm. it in a spring roll you can do it like a spring roll or tauta um, yeah, even nice. if you oh. want to try i know uh since, see down there you have a lot of prawns right and you always have your uh, prawns you do your stuff prawns and all those so you can always butterfly your prawns on the top you can mm. spread the otak -ota filling and you can grill it so you can do that option oh. as well. Even you can stuff uh, the fish. You can do the the small mackerel fish, open on the top, uh, remove the bone, put in the mm -hmm. otak otak filling. There you go. That's another way to do wow. it. So now there's a lot of Fantastic. version, yeah, even in the bread. Yeah, soft mm -hmm. roll, soft roll when you put soft roll inside. So you get the soft roll, no. uh, otak otak. Yeah. Right. I think we are finished. Uh, we're gonna wrap up shortly, but I have a lot, a lot of questions here, Renee. So we're just going to go through okay, very quickly before we wrap up. Okay. Because Shirley is asking here, um, down kado. The wild pepper is down kado, is it? Yes. Yes. Wild pepper is down kado, and I've got. Right, and I've got Selena here saying hello. Uh, Belcourt, you have got so many people saying hello to you. I am really sorry Thank if you. I didn't mention everybody, uh, but you can go back later on and have a look at all the comments and all the um, hellos that you get from everybody from around the world. So before we wrap Thank up, so I'm going to ask if Tanis, do you have any last words that you want to say to all of us before we pass it to Renee and say goodbye? Yes, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm very glad to be here and then to see a lot of the comments from the uh, around the world talking about uh, the interest for Malaysian food and there's very, very knowledgeable people in there, you know, and also some very, very new ideas about how to enjoy Ota Ota as well. And I, this, this, this show really makes me miss Malaysia and I really, really wish I can go back there just to try all the good Malaysian food, you know. Don't, don't you miss Malaysian food, huh, Zaleha, in Malaysia? <laughs> Yeah, everyone, everyone miss it. Yeah, yeah, true. yeah. I do, I do. <laughs> I want to. Very, very else. true. Yeah, there is no place like Malaysia. Mm. 
Can you hear me? Is is yeah, yeah. blurry and breaking up here? Yeah. Okay. Go. And Renee, Chef Renee, thank you so yeah. much for showing us how to cook the best otak otak there. I am so hungry. It's only no, nine, almost ten o'clock here in the morning, but I might do otak otak for our lunch. So thank you ever so much. Do you have anything you want to say to our audience before we go? So from myself, uh, thank you so much for viewing. You know, uh, you can always check the recipe coming up uh, on the e magazine. Log in into our website. Uh, you know, if you wanna have better and more authentic uh, food, stick out, stick around with us, and also visit Malaysia. You know, that's the best place to go. Uh, you can go from the south up to the north to the east coast. You get every single different flavors uh, that you can imagine. And you can't imagine, all right, both how uh, Malaysia can really, really uh, blow your mind about food, all right, mainly different cultures, like talking about what I imagine, everyone has uh, different input in it, right? So cook with your heart, respect the ingredients, okay, as I always say, Mama Perli always, uh, I think uh, she's on with, with me on that, right? <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for viewing, all right, don't uh, forget to check. Uh, tomorrow, right? We have uh, also live again. So, still going on through the week. And thank you so much. And uh, Tansin, make sure, yeah, you're going to cook the otak otak and let me know and hashtag. Tell us what <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Taste like. <laughs> yeah, please do. All right, guys, that's fantastic. That looks absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Renee. We're so privileged to have you finally okay, on screen. Okay. And thank you, Tanis, for being amazing, for being such a good sport. And Zaleha, as always, you guys are just fantastic. And we're going to wrap up with uh, Tourism Malaysia again. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be cooking tomorrow, okay? So make sure you tune in. <laughs> okay, let's just remove. Cool. Share screen. And voila. Right, guys thanks again don't forget to tune in tomorrow same time i'm going to be making chakwe tia okay it's one of my signature dishes but i look forward to your company then see you later ciao